Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs and back to our test rigor automation series. So in today's video, we are going to talk about a lot of people were asking about that uh, can test rigor automate the applications on iOS and Android devices. Yes, they do have some support for that. I'm going to show you how to do this. So let's open this uh, testrigger.com. I'm going to log in and uh, after login, uh, I'm going to create a new test suite over here. For example, let's see, I'll show you first Android and then iOS both I'll show you. So let's see, I'm going to create, this is let's see, mobile uh, Android uh, testing, something like this that I'm going to create. And uh, instead of desktop web testing, I'm going to select, see this, they support both mobile web testing as well as native and hybrid mobile app also they support that. So for example, let's see if your application is supported on Android browser, or let's see Android Chrome browser or and uh, Safari uh, on iOS devices also you can check that. So today we are going to talk about mobile web testing. We are not talking about today a native and hybrid because if you select this mobile web testing, it's saying that first of all, what is the URL and uh, on which operating system that you really want to test it on Android or iOS. So for example, let's say I'm selecting Android over here and who is the provider? So provider, they are integrated with browser stack, Lambda test, Sauce Labs and Kobiton as well. So today, let's see, we are going to talk about with uh, test trigger. Later on, we will see a separate chapter on browser stack and everything. If you really want to try, you can try it. You just simply select the browser stack. And uh, here you need to select which browser that you're talking about. Right now, they are supporting only with Google Chrome on Android. And then you have to generate your username and the private access key on the browser stack. So right now I'm not using browser stack. I'm just simply going with the uh, test trigger option here. And then I'm going to select the Android and then uh, for Android, they are supporting multiple devices here. You can see that. So for example, let's see Nexus, Pixel, Excel, Nexus X and all such things. So let's see, I'm going to use this one that Samsung Galaxy S20 or maybe Samsung Galaxy S20 Android 11 that I'm going to use that. So let's select that and uh, which browser we have only one chrome browser you want to generate some auto discovery test cases no i don't want to generate and uh, i'm going to enter the url as well so for example let's say i'm going to use this application this application is compatible with the uh, mobile devices as well or android and ios and uh, i'm going to uh, copy paste the url here so this is the url that i'm going to use and uh, create a test suite when you create a test suite here you can see that the test suite got started and uh, let me cancel this task let's write some test cases a simple one or two lines of test cases we can write it let's see add custom test and then i'm going to test uh, let's see this is my uh, home page uh, test on uh, android device something like this that i'm going to test it over here okay so this is the home page and i simply say that uh, you just need to do something let's see you just need to uh, scroll down up to delivery information or let's see uh, privacy policy or contact us and then you need to click on it for example let's see if i'm clicking on contact us then uh, the contact us page should be displayed and then whatever the information that you really want to verify on the contacts us page you can verify that okay let me you can see that yeah this is the contacts us page and if you really want to fill that form you can fill that over here as well so this is a scenario simple so right now we are not focusing on the right to test cases and everything we are focusing on can we execute the same test cases that we are going to write can be execute on the android device or not so this is android actually so what i'm going to do that uh, see for example let's see go to this particular application first time it will be launched like that and if you see that uh, if you see the same application in the android device the view will be small so I have to scroll it down and then I have to scroll it down until this delivery information. So for a scrolling, if you see the official documentation, see very good scrolling features are available. You can see scroll down. You can see scroll down on right panel. You can scroll down by half of the screen also. You can do that and you can scroll down until page contains submit. I think this is something very uh, good option. We can use it here for a scrolling. So let's see, I'm going to use this option here that is scroll down until page contains what? until page contains delivery information it means you go to the a uh, footer of the page and then or uh, go to this particular uh, screen scrolling down until you see delivery information okay and then after that what i want after that i want to say that uh, that click delivery information click on the same link and then i'm saying that uh, check that uh, page 
uh, contains something so let's say i'm going to click on a uh, delivery information or you can use any information and then i'm saying okay fine check that okay page contains this del delivery information or not this particular text or not something like this so i'm saying that it page contains this or not so this is my validation simple just to uh, fulfill my test case here and that's it so let's run it and let's see is it really working on the android device or not so click on add and run and uh, here you can see the test uh, in the queue now open that and then the test will start in some time over here so now here you can see that test got started on android and uh, see it will keep scrolling down and you can see all the screenshots are coming one by one and uh, see it's clicking on delivery information so before clicking on it it is actually highlighting that element that delivery information over here and then after that it will try to click on it so we can see the next that is the delivery information is available and then it's verifying yeah that page contains delivery information and if you see the look and view also i mean the look and feel also you can see that it's a kind of uh, android uh, device on uh, with google chrome here you can see that this is the google chrome sign and this is the android device actually so it will give you one simple uh, simulator like that and then you just a uh, simple execute the test cases over here and you can see that overall test got passed here perfect so like this you can simply use it on android device you can use that and they have uh, multiple options if you see that once again uh, for android uh, there are uh, nexus pixel excel and everything and then uh, qvga and then samsung pixel nexel and then maybe they can add some more devices later on so these are the supports that so far is available here and it's absolutely uh, supporting with the mobile devices as well now i'll do one thing again um, i'll go back to this and i just try to uh, run the same test on the ios device as well so i'll do one thing i'll just copy paste the same uh, test cases so let's uh, copy all these test cases and i'm going to create a separate test suite for that for ios devices so i'll say that uh, uh, let's see i'm saying mobile mobile ios uh, testing something like this that i'm going to use it okay we have to select the operating system before that we have to select the type of testing over here that is again mobile web testing and uh, after that the os that we are going to select that is ios and for ios right now they are supporting only iphone xr so you just simply select iphone x for which browser that you want to support safari browser obviously that safari will work only for ios and then the generate the test cases automatically zero test cases and then i'm going to use the application is the same application over here and then after that click on create test suite and uh, i don't want to generate any test cases so just simple cancel that task automatic discovery test cases is zero and again click on add custom test cases and then i'm writing the steps over here first of all same step that i'm writing but here i'm writing that okay fine this is my uh, ios uh, testing uh, something like this or let's see ios test okay and then uh, again scroll page until delivery information click on delivery information and check that page contains delivery information or not and click on add and run so let's see is it really launching the browser on ios device or not so here you can see yeah ios devices also got started here you can see yeah this is uh, actually the ios uh, okay so here again see the all the test cases are absolutely running fine and then it's actually kicking on the delivery information and checking that page contains the delivery information are not perfect and here you can see that is actually if you see the screenshot this is actually an ios a device a simulator here you can see that perfect so this is absolutely working fine on ios as well if you really want to see any errors no errors are there if you see the report one simple test case that we have written and it's absolutely working fine safari on ios so with this thing guys you can absolutely run your test cases on ios and android maybe with the limited support with respect to the devices but at least you can check it with the if you really want to check with the you know other options with ios maybe later on they can add it but with ios we have only iphone xr and for android we have uh, these number of devices options are available and if you really want to change the provider so let's see for example let's see lambda test if you really want to change the provider for android and ios for and uh, for android also they're supporting chrome and uh, again for lambda test we have to add the username access key and tunnel name and everything if you really want to add that which os version that you want to select that also you can select it and the device also you can select it over here so i'll do one thing i'll prepare a separate video on these uh, cloud vendors which are available in the market 
uh, with respect to lambda test sauce labs and the browser stack i'll try to prepare a separate video on it we will see that how to run the test cases on different devices on these vendors on these cloud vendors so uh, today we have just covered only test trigger with respect to android and ios please try that and it's absolutely uh, free of cost just to try that and then if you're really liking it you can just propose this solution to your uh, team man i mean to your project management team and then uh, accordingly you can take a decision to uh, adopt test trigger you don't need to write any single line of code simple write plain english a sentence and then you are absolutely good to go over here so that's all for this particular video guys i hope you liked it i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all